What's up everyone, welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel is another sock review. Uh, we're talking about some wool socks. It's getting to be that time of the year. A lot of people are asking on my videos in the comments about what are the best wool socks, uh, the best socks for your boots. Uh, I, I notice a lot of sock comments come up in the boot videos. So naturally, uh, we're gonna continue on with the sock series. So. Um, this is a variant from Fit, so or Fits. So if you're interested in hearing more about the sock, stay tuned. All right, guys. So let's start this off. Um, this is the company Fits. Uh, this sock costs about twenty-one dollars. Is what it was at the Sock Shack. Uh, so right around the same price point as all the other socks we've been reviewing um, this sock let's go over the uh, the composition or the makeup of it it's 65% merino wool so to date this is the sock with the most merino wool I've had in it and you can definitely tell 22% uh, nylon 13% polyester and lycra spandex whatever um, so who knows how, what the percentage of spandex is, but uh, it's neither here nor there. So one thing that you always want to do with wool socks, make sure you turn them inside out before you wash them. Um, man, do I catch myself doing this a lot. Uh, I, my buddy Aaron ruined a pair of socks doing it, so just make sure if you're this is your first time watching a sock video, turn these bad boys inside out when you wash them. For whatever reason, I don't know what happens. It, it basically... Um, shrinks them down and uh, really tears up the wool. So let's go over this sock. Um, this sock is kind of goofy in that it kind of uh, widens out here at the top. So I hope you can see that on camera that it's it's narrow at uh, here in the ankle and then naturally it's designed to ride up your leg so it's a little uh, wider at the top. Now I don't wear my sock like that. I usually roll them down um, onto each other around about mid ankle height so something like this so where it would probably come out at a six inch boot so when I do that there's a lot of excess material here in the in the side here so you know if you're wearing them all the way up here yeah I can see that uh, it kind of probably helps keep it up a little bit more um, but Nonetheless, the way that I wear them, it's kind of goofy and it feels kind of weird. Just something that I'll put in there. Now these are their light hiker boot or their height light hiker crew socks, um, and they they uh, wick moisture really really well. Uh, a full shift of work uh, is you know they're they're wet to the touch, but when you're actually you know when you're working in them. Um, they really do uh, wick away the moisture and you really don't notice it. So, of course, when you take your boot off, you're like, whoa, my feet are really wet. But it's not like it affected you through the day and, you know, you're like, man, I need to change my socks because my feet are starting to ache. They're wet. It's not that kind of feeling. So you only truly realize that they're wet when you take them off and, and uh, really feel them for the first time. So that's a great, great thing to have about a sock is uh, your feet not aching and you not realizing that you've been sweating in your boot all day. So I really think that this is definitely a good contender. Um, I would not put them as high quality as the Darn Tough socks. If you haven't watched one of those, I'll put it in the card up here, uh, upper right hand corner. Uh, darn tough socks are really impressing me um, those Duluth trading company uh, copper merino wool socks those are really really nice it's gonna be hard to beat um, those so I'd say these come up third place in the socks that I've reviewed so far um, definitely uh, a lot better than those socks that I got from Menards man do I regret that um, by the way if you needed an update on that or you were thinking about that you watch that video I tried to take them back yeah Menards didn't let me take them back so um, there was nothing wrong with them um, it, it's I, I didn't get my money back from Menards for them so uh, it, it's a clothing item I, <clears throat> I don't know maybe it was just an employee that I was dealing with um, 
you know, you try to be polite and kind to everybody, but sometimes you don't get the best results. So this is definitely third on my list. I like it a lot. Um, these will be in the rotation uh, for winter for sure. Uh, these are even comfortable around the house with nothing on. I really like them. They've got, a, they've got that nice padded area in the heel. Some wool sock manufacturers make them really, really thick for whatever reason, and they don't work out very well. But these are made in the U.S., and they are, you know, uh, definitely top-tier quality. So I highly recommend them to anybody that's looking into the socks. All right, I've talked for about five minutes now, so I need to get off here. I hope you guys enjoy your Saturday. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And uh, as always, please consider clicking that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. To all my subscribers that are, are on the channel and loyal and always around here for every video, we'll see you on the next one.